Element a Day in May. Hey guys, welcome back to Element a Day in May, where Mythical Elements continues on this Friday evening. To get us started, what does this and this and this and this and this all have in common? Well, if you are an avid Star Trek fan, or if you read the title of this video, you know that it's Tritanium! Ah! According to page 19 of the Starfleet Medical Reference Manual, Tritanium has the element symbol TN and has an atomic weight of 323 and an atomic number of 125. Just for reference, that is seven elements more than the last element on our periodic table, which is element 118, and that has an atomic weight of 294. So tritanium is much heavier and uh, surprisingly a lot more stable um, because oganesson, uh, element 118, it only lasts for about a split second. So the fact that uh, this tritanium metal uh, is so incredibly stable and obviously lasts for a while because it's metal. That is very impressive to me. So good going, Star Trek universe. The manual also mentions that the element was discovered in 2161 by the Federation on Argus X. However, the Memory Alpha Wiki for the planet also says that the USS Enterprise, headed up by Captain James Kirk in 2268, discovered a large vein of tritanium ore and sent word back to Starfleet for recommendation for further surveying. Unfortunately, the Enterprise landing party also discovered the dichronium cloud creature, which they determined lived somewhere between a state of matter and energy, which is kind of what I feel like when I drink coffee. As always, thank you everyone for watching these videos. They're a lot of fun for me to make. If you guys are Star Trek fans, let me know in the comments below what facts about Tritanium you might know. There's also a lot of people talking about some other Star Trek related elements out there. So if you have other Star Trek elements that I couldn't get to this week, please let me know what they are and a little bit about them. Also, if you're a Star Trek fan, check out Geek and Sundry's new Star Trek RPG show that's gonna be coming out soon by my friend. I'm really excited for that. And if you're not already subscribed to Everyday Science, please subscribe. It shows my agents that my parents aren't my only fans, even though they are my favorite fans. I love you, Mom and Dad. All right, bye, everyone. Element a day in May.